Bertrand and Margaret. He belonged to the family of seven children, four of whom later entered a religious life. After completing his primary education in the city of Vienna, Saint Claude joined the Jesuit school in Lyon for his secondary studies. In 1658, at the age of 17, Saint Claude entered the novitiate of the Society of the Jesus. As he himself says, he initially had a terrible aversion to the rigorous training required by the order, but that period in life helped him in his later life to sharpen and focus his natural talents, and he himself took a private vow to obey the rules of the order as perfectly as possible. Saint Columbia completed his two-year novitiate and started his higher studies in the same city. He was professed then, and the next five years of his regency, he spent teaching grammar and literature in the same school. In 1674, he became the superior of the Jesuit house in the town of Para de Mayo, where he also became the spiritual director of the nuns of the Monastery of the Visitation Sisters, located next to the church. One of the nuns in that convent, Sister Margaret Mary Alcock, was frequently experiencing a series of private revelations from Christ, in which she felt she was being called to promote devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. But the claims of Sister Margaret was met with disbelief from other religious sisters. It was during this time that Father Columbia came to the community and Sister Margaret confided her experiences to him. Father Columbia gave careful consideration to the testimonies of Sister Margaret. After speaking with her a number of times and after much prayers, Father concluded that the testimonies of Sister Margaret are valid. The writings and testimonies of Father Columbia about the reality behind the experiences of Sister Margaret helped to establish the Sacred Heart of Jesus as a feature of Western Catholic devotion. In 1676, Father Columbian was sent to England as a preacher to Mary of Modena, the then Duchess of York. Although England was officially non-Catholic, King Charles II had allowed his brother, the Duke of York, to have a chapel in St. James Palace. Thus, Father Columbian was ministered as the chaplain there, and he also became the preacher to the Duchess of York. There also, Father Columbia continued his mission to spread the message of Christ's love for humankind, symbolized by his sacred heart. Father Columbia succumbed to death in 1682, February 15, as a result of severe internal bleeding. He was beatified by Pope Pius XI, 1929, nine years after the canonization of Sister Margaret Mary Alcock. He was canonized by Pope John II on 1992, May 31. His relics are preserved in the Jesuit church around the corner from the convent of Visitation Sisters. He is the patron saint of devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Saint Claudia de la Columbia, pray for us. Trinity one God Have mercy on us Holy Mary Pray for us Saint John the Baptist Pray for us Saint Peter Pray for us Saint Say Matthew.